Greetings, citizens of the internet. Welcome to Tomorrow Daily, the best geek talk show in the known universe. I'm Jeff Kanata. And I'm Ashley Eskeda. Let's get right into those rapid fire headlines. The first of which involves a student who has designed something that will actually allow the disabled to create music with their eyes. Andreas Refsgaard's last project for the Copenhagen Institute of Interactive Design is called Eye Conductor. It uses an inexpensive eye tracking device and a simple webcam in conjunction with an interface to allow a user to choose which instrument to use, create a beat, and make songs. It's also adjustable based on how broad or narrow the user's facial movements can be. Refsgaard says, quote, I believe that the ability to express oneself artistically should be available to all, regardless of physical disabilities or challenges, unquote. Best part about this thing is it costs less than $100. Yeah. So it really opens up the ability to, as he said, express yourself to anybody that can move their eyes. That's pretty incredible. I thought it was really cool that he took it to centers where and had disabled people try it, and they, he said there were real connections made yeah. with the music, which is... So rad. I love when people are able to do something like that for pennies on the dollar. That, that's the most impressive thing, that off-the-shelf components can work. Yeah, yeah, it's really cool. Uh, if you are a fidgety person, like myself, uh, this chair might be the chair for you. If you want to get the most out of your fidgeting movements, you might like Move. It's a prototype designed to harness the power of shifting around in your seat. Move is a chair from furniture designer Natalie Tugels, and it has 288 piezoelectric crystals inside the frame that generate current when exposed to pressure. A USB port in the armrest lets you jack right into the chair's electricity and charge your phone as you fidget. Tugel said she was inspired by her own personal experiences with ADHD while making this chair. There's no official mass production scheduled for Move, but if I were IKEA, <laughs> I would have this in every college, caffeine-addled college yeah. student's dorm room immediately. This is restless leg syndrome, the battery. Yeah, exactly. You can really turn that five-hour energy into energy for your actual phone. Here's what I want. I want an entire airplane just with these seats in it. It's fidgety. Because that's what I am on an airplane. I hate sitting for hours. It's true. Oy. It's true. Uh, what do you think we should talk about on Thursday's show? Man, I don't know. These are both good. Both I, good. I kind of, I'm kind of leaning toward the uh, music with your eyes thing. It's pretty cool and simple. I, I like that. Okay, yeah. let's talk about let's talk about Eye Conductor. If you guys want to get in on the conversation for Thursday's show, please feel free to shout at us using the hashtag Hey TD. Yeah, on the, on the Twitters, we love hearing from you, and we use those comments in our discussion on Thursday so you can be part of the conversation too. Yes. And uh, with that being said, let's check out our phone talk for the day. Today's phone photographer of the day is Deepak, who took this uh, with a Moto G2. Yeah, Deepak writes in and says, these photos were taken with my Moto G2. My name is Deepak. You can choose any which one you like. This was taken when I went for a morning walk at summer. Your show is great. Keep it on. Uh, we chose the picture that he sent with the flowers and the grass, which I really, I love really the loved. depth of field. So colorful. I just, there's a lot of personality in this photo. Yeah. And man, like, what a great morning walk you have when you can see stuff like this on it. Is he able to do focus stuff like that just with a native Moto G2? Um, I think so, yeah. Wow. If you have it in really maybe if you have it in macro mode. Yeah. Uh, things like that. Uh, it really is amazing what you guys can do with photography. And if you want to send in your pictures, please do tomorrow at .com. Yeah, we love getting those pictures from you. Just give us a little story about why you took that picture. Tell us what device you took it on and be sure to give us permission to use it on the show. Also, share the show, tomorrowdaily.com. It's easy to give the gift of Tomorrow Daily to a friend. It's the gift that keeps on giving because we do one every day. Even when you want us to stop. <laughs> so that is it for today's show. We will be back tomorrow with a brand new docket of weird, wonderful science fact, meaning science fiction. But until then. Be good humans. See you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>